No, no. Hi. <laughs> I had to hurry to get this camera on because I start. I went in y'all interview way too early. Okay, I should have waited. <laughs> I was, my hands, my palms start getting real sweaty. I start feeling real nervous, and then I was excited. And I was excited. I was excited. And I was excited and nervous at the same time. But then the nervous just swept over, and I was so nervous. I'm so nervous. What am I so nervous? Why are you so nervous, baby? Why are you so nervous? Why are you so nervous? I'm getting so nervous. So nervous. Oh, okay. Virgos with Leo placements. Go see the Leo video. That's what they told me. Some of y'all need to go watch Leo's video too. <sighs> okay. Anyway, um, I got Jay Holiday suffocate for you. You know that song. I can't breathe when you talk to me. I can't breathe when you're touching me. I suffocate when you're away from me. So much love you take from me. I'm going out of my mind. Whoa. Okay. That'll see why you're nervous. Your episode is called The Confession, by the way. Okay. So I feel for some Virgos, you could be feeling as if you're suffocating. Okay. There's a, a new love you have and it suffocates you a little bit. <laughs> like in a way, because you haven't found a proper navigation system to apply here. Like you don't know what to do. Like it makes you so nervous. It makes you so anxious. It just, it just causes you so much anxiety. Like I, I felt that. Like I got anxiety. I had heard me get on this video. Like y'all better experience some of this anxiety with me, damn it, because <laughs> this ain't my anxiety. <laughs> so, um, you don't seem to know your way around yet. Um, but you refuse to ask for help. <laughs> so then I start hearing the song called "They Don't Know." They don't, they don't know. So I don't think they even know this person, whoever you about to confess to. I don't think they know nothing. And if they do, they don't know it through your word of mouth. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay, Virgo. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. We got four new decks of cards this week. So expect to be here with me roughly between 30 and 45 minutes. Okay. Uh, somehow I got Leo out of here 29.65. I mean, that's 30. <laughs> 29.45 something like that or maybe they did hit the 30 mark i don't know okay check it out because some of y'all gonna be watching that leo video anyway because they said y'all should watch it especially if you got leo placements in your chart baby go watch it okay what do we have god and the universe and spirit of the story Virgo. what do we have hmm, your nervousness is gone now but boy was i nervous when i started saying okay Virgo. we got you going you know getting your energy uh -uh. i got nervous I got nervous, nervous. My palms are sweaty. I had to cut my heater off. I've been freezing all day. Here we go. What messages from the angels do we have for Virgo, please? Messages from the angels for Virgo, please. Unlikely. We got unlikely on the bottom. Um... What's unlikely? Ask your angels and communicate clearly. Maybe it's unlikely that you go ask your angels and communicate clearly. I don't know. We'll see about that in a minute. Okay. It always fits into the story somewhere. So here we go. Let's see. What kind of mermaid messages do we have for Virgo? Messages from the mermaids to Virgos. Messages from the mermaids to Virgos. What messages from the mermaids do we have to give the Virgo back? Messages from the mermaids. Two Virgos. This is from the mermaids. Two Virgos. Go with the flow. And be spontaneous on the bottom. Okay. Go with the flow. Okay. So we're going to get out a couple of these messages here from Angel Wisdom Tarot. These are regular tarot cards. Oh, a little stubborn like Leo, are we? But in there. You being stubborn too, Virgo? Y'all don't want two people being stubborn this week. Oh, there's no other cards don't want to shuffle. Stubborn. Okay, with the flow. <laughs> what we got for Virgo, please? Messages for Virgo, please. Just for Virgo, please. 
Christ, is this so Virgo? My message is for Virgo. go with these two. A loss. This is on the bottom of Leo's too. A loss of peace of mind or personal freedom. Take cautious and be aware of others' actions. A material loss. Make sure you are being honest with yourself. Embarrassing secrets. Okay? So, what come out for you is the Knight of Pentacles. Okay? And the Seven of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles says, loyal, dedicated, protective, apprehensive, plan carefully before taking action, but then get going. Pay attention to the details. Wait for perfect timing. A guardian angel or somewhere who, or someone who watches over you. Seven of Pentacles says, seeds well planted, efforts or investments that will be rewarded in the future. The need for patience, a time for resisting, Planning for the future. Unnecessary worry. A time for resisting and planning for the future. So, I don't know. Maybe you need to resist yourself from something. I don't know. Here we go. Is it still daylight out there? Okay. Message to Virgo, please. Messages for Virgo. Message to Virgo. What we have to Virgo, please. Message to Virgo, please. Thoughts in reverse and mature man. Concern. Message of concern and pathway. The wealthy man on the bottom and message with privileged lady under there. Okay, so we got five for you, Virgo. Thoughts in reverse. I don't know, maybe it's possible that you can't get something off your mind. Maybe that you um, don't want to think about something. Okay, maybe it's somebody that you don't want to think about. Okay, um, Okay, but you can't possibly help it to think about this person. Even though you want to stop thinking about them, you just don't want to think about them, you can't help it. Because we got concerned because you're concerned. You're too concerned and you can't help but to think about this person. Okay? Um, then we got mature man with message of concern. You with Somebody's got some concerns. Some, that's where the anxiety comes from. And then we got the pathway. Maybe the, the concern is that some pathway might get closed off to you. Okay? Um... What self-care card can help Virgo this week? Self-care card. What self-care card can help Virgo? What we got for Virgo? Self-care card to help Virgo this week. Or this month. Self-care card for Virgo. Self-care card for Virgo. Self-care card for Virgo this week. Something came on the bottom twice. Write a gratitude list. Maybe write down some things you're grateful for. That could help you this week or this month. And a massage. Get in a massage. That could help you. Self-care wise. Okay. Um, do we got everything? Yeah. So let's jump into the clarifications of why thoughts is here in reverse for Virgo. 
last thoughts here in reverse Virgo, please. Thoughts. Why is that here in reverse for Virgo? Cards being stubborn again. Thoughts in reverse. Why is that here for Virgo? got anxiety because <sighs> you can't stop thinking about something and you don't want to think about it but that's all you can seem to think about because you're concerned about it look everything just keeps popping out you feel pulled to it intuition card but you just don't want to decide on something Five of Swords reverse. Make sure you know the card is down there. Okay. So, um, you realize in some stuff here. Okay. Um, I guess there's a new beginning out here that you want somewhere. Okay. And, um, your intuition is nudging you to it as well. Okay, but you got a lot of anxiety around it. It seems to be all you can think about, even though you don't want to think about it. Um, but some kind of way you're coming out of some kind of conflict here. Five of Swords reverse is coming out of conflict and not wanting to choose. Possibly because you're making a choice. Okay, that's two of Wands in reverse is not making a decision. Or not moving forward. Okay. So you're possibly coming out of conflict of not moving forward because you're realizing that all you can think about is this new beginning that you want with a person, anxiety or not, and you're concerned about it. You're concerned about possibly losing it with pathway here in the reverse. So that's what we got on the thoughts. We're going to put that right there on thoughts. Let's move the rest of this down a little bit. Okay, concern. Why is concern here for Virgo? Concern. Strength card, four swords. Concern. Now. You're concerned about going in here and following this um, passionate new beginning because you don't want to be disappointed. You want to have a victory. And you don't want to face the ending here. Where you got to end another cycle. Okay. Uh, but also it could be some kind of religious factor here. Or some, some kind of. Um, this is religious factors. Marriage and spirituality. Okay. It could be some kind of religious factor or marriage here um, that you're concerned about, possibly. Um, getting in the way of you becoming a mature man. Are you having this path for something like this? Um, but you need a lot of strength, possibly, to retreat from, I feel like it's um, going to be some religious factors here. Or it could be a marriage for some of you. But I feel like for the majority of you, you need to retreat from religious factors because they're not helping you out in the situation. And... I don't know. You realizing that the, the 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 universe God is showing you something, obviously, but your religious factors don't line up or something. Mature man, why is that here for Virgo? Why is the mature man here for Virgo?
That's also my Divine Masculine card. So, out that deck. That Divine Masculine. I'm sorry. I don't know why I said Divine Masculine. Which is Divine Masculine. The Emperor. Which he is Divine Masculine. But, I don't know if this is the kind of situation you're dealing with. You you know, Virgo. I don't. But, I said Divine Masculine for a reason. Alright? So, you might be. But, Mature Man. We have Mature here, Man here. Okay? And then we got the Ten of Swords. Something is over. Okay, and then we got the Le uh, the Leo, the King of Wands, which is Leo sometimes. Any fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius or Aries. Okay, but it somebody taking charge here, I'm taking a leadership role to end the situation, and that brings a tower moment. And that's possibly what this concern is. Um, what's this ten of swords okay you gotta walk away from somebody or something something you gotta walk away from ten of swords the right something something maybe legal or something that you know is the right thing to do you need to walk away and, and act based upon the facts basically you're saying King of Pentacles, that's you, Virgo. You need to walk away, do what's best for you, act based upon the facts, uh, realize you got all the tools you need to stand your ground. Fuck these opinions and these people. Okay? Basically is what that's saying. Um, what's this tower? I mean, since you're concerned about it, I'm going to clarify it. Okay, so we got the three of swords. It's hurtful. Um, but at the same time, it's coming out of disappointment. Well, I feel like maybe you're coming out of some disappointment or some hurt that you felt for a long time with this ending. Um, maybe somebody wasn't being equal give and take, but you're moving out of that. And you're moving out of Wounded Warrior and you're moving towards Two of Cups. So, yeah, that's why you keep thinking about whoever this person is. Now we got Message of Concern. Maybe you sent that out. Let some lady reading it. Or maybe you, if you the man, you sent it out. And if you the woman, you read it. It got sent. I don't know. Message of concern. No, wait a minute. See, look them fill out. But y'all look at them. But I ain't balancing out something and working on something with somebody coming together. Okay, but that's not what I'm clarifying with. So I put those back. Why is message of concern here for Virgo? King of Cups. Message of concern. One more on this message of concern. Okay, somebody's concerned about some pathway. The pathway being closed. Some emotional pathway that they want to take. That they feel a lot of emotions for, but they're not expressing it. So they're concerned because they not they don't know. They're concerned they don't know where this is going to take them, for one. That's why they're not expressing it. They want them to have wise decision making when it comes to love. Okay, but they just are too unsure. They don't know, so they're not expressing. But I feel like... um some messages of concern happens. I don't know if they get concerned because they're not expressing, but I think they are because they got the Knight of Wands, which somebody charges in passionately to this new beginning in order to have some victory. Okay, after a period of disappointment and ending a cycle of disappointment. Okay, so I feel like maybe you're concerned that you're running out of time and you might miss your pathway here um, before you com confess this message of concern to somebody or you um express some kind of message i don't know if it looks like or somebody's expressing a message to you why is pathway reverse here for virgo judgment 
you afraid the judgment comes. You think this path is going to be closed off, huh? Or something. Some emotional path that you want to take. That you manifested for yourself. Maybe you're just now realizing it. And that's why you're concerned. You, maybe you realized it late. Ace of Wands on the bottom. Yeah, you took your long. You took a long time. So long it looked, thought you wasn't coming. Somebody probably thought you wasn't coming. Now you're thinking, oh man, judgment. Maybe you're just now realizing, changing your mind even about something that you're realizing that you manifested and it took you so long to realize it and you're concerned here <clears throat> because you didn't know. Okay, so you didn't know where this was going, moon card. So you held your emotions back, king of cups. Um but you do want to be wise when it comes to decision making. But you're concerned that because you held your emotions back, that this pathway might not be available to you anymore, basically. Ah, get it, got it good. Okay, so we done with that over there. Now comes to communicate clearly. This must be the confession. Let's, let's clarify that confession right there. <laughs> yes, I'm calling it the confession. These are my confessions. Just when I thought I had a... Just when I thought I said all I could say. Then I had no chick on the side with a baby on the way. But hey, who am I to judge? Ain't none of us perfect. But anyway, communicate clearly. Why is it here for Virgo? Communicate clearly. Why is communicate clearly here for Virgo, please? So possibly it's unlikely that this pathway is closed off to you. And I say that because the Ace of Wands come out here all them times. Even though you might feel like it's too late. Because you didn't drug your little feet. Yep. As soon as I say drug your little feet. Knight of Pentacles on the bottom. Yep. Communicate clearly. Hmm. Hmm. There it is. There's all the confession. I know what I said. I changed my mind. Or I made a decision. Or I changed my mind about a decision. Um, overcoming conflict. I was conflicted. I'm a little bit conflicted still. But I'm inspired. I see a passion, a new beginning. And I want to take it. Um, I want to want to collaborate. I want to work together with you. I see you as a wish fulfillment. And I hope that we can make this right. Because I want to make wise decision making. I want to be a, uh, have wise decision making when it comes to love. Okay? So, maybe you don't know what to say. Okay? Or how to say it. So, what well, that was a good way to say it. But, ask your angels is out here. Okay? Why is ask your angels out here for Virgo? Maybe it's, you feel like it's a piece of information that is missing. And it says to ask your angels. And the Queen of Swords came out. She is honest. She is truthful. She will cut off what don't serve her. She knows how to put her emotions to the side in order to do what is best for her. Then we got the hermit, which is you, Virgo. Going within to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Seeing that light at the end of the tunnel and then being anxiety, being stressed out about what you see. Okay. Queen of Wands on the bottom. That's knowing what you want, being bold. And going in there, put the, bringing balance into a situation where there was confusion, illusions, or options. And maybe even you made somebody feel left out in the cold. But there's a new beginning with possibly a queen of cups. And you possibly was the king of cups. So you could be dealing with a water sign. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Don't gotta be. But... The next thing they're telling you, the mermaids, the mermaids know about water now, I'm telling you. Um, go with the flow, okay, is what they want you to do. Why is go with the flow here for Virgo? Why do you show Virgo go with the flow, please? What do you want Virgo to know about go with the flow?
So, they gave you go with the flow to this unknown that you're worried about. You just got to go. Go with the flow. Take your leap of faith. Go with the flow. Could be dealing with a Pisces. That's the moon card, okay? And it says water, but then boom, queen of cups. Go with the flow with this queen of cups, whom you love, okay? Whom you want this passion and new beginning with. Whom you're dragging your feet to get in there and confess it to. Okay? Now, still dragging your feet. Knight of Pentacles, that's you still dragging your feet. But you're loyal and dedicated and protective of this. Apprehensive, but you plan before taking any action. But then you need to get going. I think the part you're not doing is getting going. Okay? Pay attention to the details. Wait for perfect timing. Maybe you're waiting for perfect... Oh, waiting for perfect timing. And then it says a guardian angel or someone who watches over you. So, I feel like someone will be watching over you as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're going to just keep clarifying these because, you know, a lot of the cards do the same thing. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here for Virgo? wondering you've been taking your time but you thought about it long hard and steady and i think you're ready to take your action now virgo i think you're ready to take your action because you see the potential that could be okay but look here this is what it got you doing it's gas ten of cups that's what you're taking action towards something that makes you very happy something that you want to build with have family with you're coming out of this mental imposing okay where you're stuck and feeling trapped in your thoughts you're coming out of that thoughts in reverse it's up there, too. You're coming out of being stuck in your thoughts, okay? In order to put an end to some situation, okay? A situation that keeps you from moving forward. Thus, you're also putting an end to not moving forward, okay? You're charging in passionately here because you want to balance out the situation. And that's possibly what you're going to confess to this person. Um, because possibly a seed was planted. A seed, it says seeds well planted. Efforts or investments that will be rewarded in the future. So possibly this person invested or planted a seed about something. I don't know, something about some seed getting planted in the past. Um, and now at the resting, you're going to be planning for a future. And you might have unnecessary worries. That's what this card says, but we're going to clarify that too. So why is the seven of pentacles here for Virgo, please? Seven of Pentacles. Why is it here for Virgo? The Empress. The Empress, Virgo, huh? Seven of Pentacles. Why is it here? The Lovers. You know what? I got to get another deck now. I'm going to tell you why I got to get another deck. Because the emperor ain't in here. He already came out. Which means if we need him to fall out with her, we can't get him. Oh, the emperor is in here. Okay. Never mind. Yeah, he is. Seven of Pentacles. Why is that here for Virgo, please? Okay, and the high priestess is on the bottom. The emperor did not come out. However, um, the high priestess is on the bottom, which means your intuition is actually nudging you towards this new beginning. Okay, you see this person as your empress. You see this person as healing, nurturing, and everything you could ever want. You feel like you got a deep spiritual connection with this person. Okay, and you want to come in here and present them with some big love offer. Okay, and this is big. Okay, but you just need to be strength, strong, and confident, and bold, and just go in there and do it. Because you got a lot of anxiety and a lot of nervousness around the situation. But just do it, Virgo. Because it's unlikely that anything bad could happen. All you got to do is believe. Because there's no need to worry. See that? No need to worry. If you believe, it's unlikely that it'll go bad for you. Okay? There we go. That's what I got for you, Virgo. I hope this resonated with you, Virgos, out there. And if it did, give me a thumbs up. Like the video. Comment on the video if you like. I do comment back, okay? Share it with your Virgo friends if you think they need to hear this. And they might not want to, but 
what better person to be honest with them than they friend okay so yeah hope this helped and good luck happiness joy and peace and till next time namaste